There's a ton of videos out there titled 44 vs Rawlings versus Wilson. None of those videos matter because 44 has always been noticeably worse. The 44 Pro X10. This glove is actually worth comparing to the big brand. By the way, this is a honest, unpaid review. I'll tell you the things that I like, but I'll also tell you the things that I don't. This glove is orange tan. You got white welting, just tan laces, gold stitching. The patch on this thing looks amazing. You can see on the palm, it's actually bare, and that's because it's the X10 model. I've been breaking this glove in traditional with my finger out and it's closing thumb to middle finger. Let me actually show you what makes this glove different from typical 44s. The first thing is small, but it makes a big difference. 44 calls this the half moon design where the palm overlaps to the back. I like this personally, it just makes it look cleaner. And then the thumb has two pieces of welting going down it so that no welting is directly on top of your thumb. Then the thumb itself has just a little bit of padding. It makes it way more comfortable. The only other thing that's really different on this glove is the actual shape of it. And that might sound small, but this is a big deal. A normal 44 isn't bad or anything, but there's nothing special to it. You can get one of these, really like it, order another one, and then the shape itself might feel noticeably different. This is a big deal because when you get a Wilson 1786 and you like it a lot, and then you get a different colorway of another Wilson 1786, it feels exactly the same. My point is that the 44X10 should be the same. So during ground balls, we're gonna find out if it performs well. They claim that it has a medium pocket. Right now, I'm feeling it's like medium to maybe large. We'll talk about that later. While I was breaking the glove in, it felt like completely normal, just traditional break in nothing weird about it but the palm itself is basically drying out after breaking it in so i'm going to condition it then we're going to go take ground balls <laughs> <laughs> i oh, squeezed God. way too hard just try to make like one quick little transition like oh let's have cinematic shot of us conditioning the glove no nah. good thing it's sarna because that doesn't actually yeah that's much that's about the true glove. yeah you're right if this was any other conditioner this would be like horrible so far out of everything I've done with this glove, it like by far feels most like a Wilson. So I have a 1786. We're gonna field with both just to kind of test it out. But let me say something really quick about the actual leather. It's sort of the classic 44 leather where it's really, really solid for the price, but it's not like the most amazing leather I've ever had. So we're looking at a 350 and a $210 glove. So yes, leather is gonna be completely different, but shape wise, we wanna see how do they compare. I'm actually gonna start off with our Wilson, just kind of warm up a little bit here. Well, it's a 1786, has great feel for the ball. Pretty similar pocket. So far, I'm feeling like the Wilson pocket is actually a little bit more shallow than this one here. Gosh, yeah, it's like pretty dang similar. It's just like a slightly deeper version of that 1786. Even though it does have a deep pocket, <clears throat> the ball doesn't like funnel to the web. Some gloves have like a funnel to the edge of the web, kind of like the Aria. I'll show you a video of it. This glove is deep, but I'm still like using my actual hand to field the ball. I'm not saying that like 44 is the first to do it. Like the 1786, it's the same thing. I'm just saying that 44 made a good glove. Something I actually haven't even mentioned yet is the Pro Stiff option. This is not exclusive to the X10. This is just all of 44. I used to think that Pro Stiff meant that the glove just came like extra stiff. Like they didn't do as much work to it like in their warehouse. But the reality is, is that there's little things on the glove that are slightly thicker that make it last longer, make it a little bit more durable. If you do this, yes, the break-in will take a little bit longer, but that should also mean that you have a longer lasting glove in the end. I would say take advantage of that. It seems worth it to me. Let's take a few two in the pinky with the Wilson. Yeah, this is where the Wilson like thrives. All right, two in the pinky, 44 X 10. Uh, the very first ball, I was not trying super hard, but literally catching it here and going to here, I felt the ball start here and shoot up here. Now granted, I didn't break it into in the pinky, but I'm wondering maybe the pocket is just too big. Yeah, I've had multiple now where I just lose them. Traditional, right? Catch it, sticks in the pocket. Two in the pinky, 
it's like in the pocket right now, but if I go like this, it just wants to shake out down here. I don't know, if I broke it into in the pinky, maybe I wouldn't be having that problem, but right now, traditional definitely feels like the right option. Back to traditional, let's figure this out. Snow cone. You guys, this usually is not the case, but I am feeling more confident traditional than I am two in the pinky. Infielders for 210 bucks, this is a great glove. If I were you, I wouldn't overthink the whole two in the pinky versus traditional thing. It's definitely a little bit deep, but if you do go two in the pinky, if you break it in that way from the beginning, it shouldn't be a problem. I've already talked about how much I like the shape, but let me explain a little bit why. The pattern that they gave this makes it so that even when somebody has no clue what they're doing, they're gonna break it in pretty well. For example, I close my glove evenly, right? It's thumb to like middle finger, but like this stuff down here doesn't move. A lot of people out there just kind of squeeze their glove randomly like this. This is Mr. I just bought a 44 and I don't know how to close a glove. There's still a pocket in here. I just want to be really clear. If you're an infielder and you're looking to get a 44, I would recommend getting the X10 every time. Like I was saying before, the shape is why I like it so much, but let's compare it to the actual Wilson. If I had to pick one or the other, I'm definitely gonna go Wilson, but the thing is, is that this is actually comparing to Wilson's and Heart of the Hides, whereas before, all the 44s were always just noticeably worse. The reason I can't say definitively which one is better is one, gloves are very subjective, everybody's gonna like something different, but two, I haven't used this thing for like multiple seasons. What I can tell you is 44 up the game. Leather, solid, the shape is even better. Plus, you get to customize the glove for cheap which is what 44 is as always you guys support the channel ballgloveking.com you can get hats you can get the shorts we actually have the winter shorts out now i think they look amazing and if you haven't seen the wilson spin control video it's actually a fantastic video they have this stuff on the palm where it's like dimples and everything does it actually work find out